Hello, I'm back. This is Linda Hardwick from Linda Hardwick Designs. We are working on the assembly instructions uh, part two for the AccuCut frame portrait album. Um, how we're, We've already done um, up to uh, number uh, number three. So we're going to begin by uh, sanding all the edges of all the pieces that you've added your paper to. I'm going to sand all the edges. I'm a little ahead of it, ahead of uh, the video, because I did try and make another video when the pieces were all apart, but um, that didn't work out too well. So here we're going. I'm just going to, on number four, it says to sand all the edges, which we've done. And then you're going to ink all the edges, like I have done here. All the edges, including piece A, B, and C. All the edges are inked. Now what we're going to do is we're going to refer to this piece. We're going to actually add this A piece on top of piece B, which we've done here already. And I've added the um, the piece here, the flower um, embellishment. Anyway, back to um, the piece A, B. This is what we're referring to this, this one and this one. And then we're going to add, you would be adding to piece A, B, you would turn it over and you would add this piece of um, acetate. And first you would take the lining off, take that off, put it to the back that would, it's kind of hard for me, maybe I could show you. Let me just see, oh, no, it'll just come apart. Anyway, you will see that there's the opening and you will put that piece down and adhere it. You'd put glue or, or a quarter inch, um, uh, score tape and you'd put the piece that you've taken the blue covering off of and you'd adhere that. Simple, simple. Then you would, you're going to attach it to piece C. Now you're going to take piece AB, which is this and this, and you are going, these two top layers, and you're going to put score tape along here, along the top, and down here. And you're going to leave this opening to add a photo. If you haven't done so already, you can add a photo before you put it together, but a lot of times it's for a gift and, you know, people want to put their own in. So you would be able to do that by leaving this part open. Okay. Now, now that the acetate is down, you're going to add, uh, let me just check here what I've got. And then you would remove the uh, other side of the, the uh, blue protective coating on this side. You would remove it. And then you would attach, just a minute now. Yes, you would attach the double-sided tape to the side, the top and the bottom. Of course, then you would adhere. Press together, line them up nicely. And hopefully I've I've, I've, you can understand me okay. So now you're having piece A, B, the acetate inside with both the front and the back of the acetate removed. And then you're going to put it on piece C. So now you have this piece all done. Okay, so now we will refer to this piece as A, B, C. Okay, now the uh, binder ring holes. On the left side of each piece, you would measure and punch three evenly spaced holes through the bottom two layers of the ABC piece. So that would be B and C. Line that up. 
And then you would do pieces D through H. The same thing. So what I do is I put the I put the holes through there and then went like this, lined it up, just took a pencil, if I can find a pencil, and just did my little marks and then I uh, just punched my holes and I used the uh, larger hole on the I can never remember the name of this sorry so I used this the we are memories I can never remember the name okay now sorry get this out of the way um, if you haven't done so already, now that you've put all the holes through, you could insert your photo into the bottom of the frame if you haven't done so. Okay? And then you stack all the pieces in the, water, in the order you wish to have your pages. Like what I've done, just make sure. Whoop, see? There we go. Okie dokie. So what I've done here is I've matched these two, right? And these, and this one, and this one, and that. And like I said before, I match the back with the front paper. Now that all the holes are in there, we're going to add our binder rings. Now what I've done is I've taken a little bit of chain and I've made some um, cute little charms that I've added. I've added a nice little key here with a timer, uh, made with love charm and a clock. And now I'm going to take it. In, the kit includes three binder rings. It does not include the charms. Okay, so we'll line those up. And I'm going to take my charms and put them in there. And then I'm going to thread the binder ring all the way through, which is very simple to do. And then I'm going to hook it in like so. Actually, let me just see. Okay. I'm going to do it actually this way. I'm going to put it through like so. There you go. And then I'm going to add my charms. Now you can put anything on there really you can put ribbon or whatever you like but I think I'm probably going to be giving this uh, to someone that uh, is not so fem not not insulting her or anything but she's not a fussy lady she's not for frills and then we'll put that together and the last one we will put that through, lining up the holes, and all the way through. Now, there we go. So it sits like so. And then you take your three-in-one glue. That's the glue I suggest because it's very good glue too for adding embellishments and the embellishments that include that are included um, this is the one uh, as long as it's in stock I'll be including that if not it'll be something just as nice and you just glue that on and you sit and you wait for it to dry and um, I like to put my name on the back that I've handcrafted it and that's the end of that. I hope you enjoyed making this kit. And um, thank you for joining me. Have a great day.
バイバイ。